Hey y'all, it's Storm Reed here. You are watching Harper's Bazaar, how I do my hair. Let's get started. So today guys, we're just gonna keep it simple. I am fresh out the shower. I keep my hair nice and healthy and clean. So I always have my bonnet on. Us black girls love our, our bonnets to protect our hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And I have some braids in my hair right now. Um, this is how I sleep so the hair doesn't get tangled. My leave out can stay fresh. So I'm going to brush my hair with my wide tooth comb. I always keep a wide tooth comb with me. It's great to just, you know, get the tangles and the knots out, no matter what type of hair you have going on, straight, curly, kinky. So we're gonna use my blue white, I mean, my green, don't even know my colors. <laughs> my green wide tooth comb. I think it is essential to make sure you are taking care of not only your real hair, but if you are using, um, extensions or if you have a protective style just make sure you you're keeping your hair nice and fresh i have come a long way when it comes to extensions and getting my hair done i'm usually in braids which i'm most comfortable with but you know i have a lot going on and i just wanted to switch up my look so i do love uh, a bust down middle part as the girls would say, say on tiktok or twitter so next step is to get into these edges and lay them down a little bit make sure that i look presentable so we are going to use the edge booster um it is style factor edge booster it is so good they come in different nice smelling scents which is good i think this one is um i don't know what this one is but it smells good <laughs> i do try to keep it simple and not do too much you don't want product residue so we are literally just putting it on my edges a little bit my leave out and we are just going to slick my baby hair slash edges down. I do not leave the house without my edges done and my baby hairs laid because I really do think it just completes the look, makes your hair just look nice and sleek and fabulous. I use my, my brush as well. Sometimes I use an edge brush, but since I am um, working with extensions and have longer hair uh, today, I am just using a brush. It just sleeks it down, but it's also great for edges. Just going in and sleeking it and then kind of just blending everything together. So what you do on one side, you gotta do on the other. I think my OG hair moment, whether I am working or I am just at school on my own time would have to be OG box braids. When I tell you I am a fool for a good set of box braids. You know, I am not um, the best when it comes to styling my hair. So I already like to have a style that I can just, you know, put up in a bun or or put up in two ponytails or all have it all down. So box braids are for sure my OG favorite hairstyle. And then I think I've had a few hair moments that I have really loved um, on Euphoria. Euphoria G it's season two. She had really cool hair. There was like a scene where it was all sleek back and she had this really long ponytail. I thought that was really cute. People love that on Twitter. Um, and then again, I think it's just um, my hair braider uh, Shauna has done such a great job of making sure that my braids are versatile uh, so I really appreciate that I have taken my bonnet off I have combed through my hair I have done my edges everything is sleek smooth blended just how we like it so step number three we are going to add a little shine to our hair because who doesn't love shine I'm going to use the OG olive uh sheen spray i don't know if y'all grew up with this in y'all's household but my mama definitely has put this on my hair for a really long time a little goes a long way so i don't want too much shine you don't want to walk out and people are like oh she just sprayed a whole bunch of olive oil on her hair so i literally just kind of go under and it smells really good too and just finger comb that through and i'll do the same thing in that same area kind of on the top and then we're going to do this to the other side as well start on the top this time smooth it and then at that point i will take my comb brush brush comb again and just make sure that the oil is through the strands of hair 
Do that on this side, especially in the parts where you kind of your hair, your leave out meets your extension hair. Just making sure everything is blended in. I have had a lot, a lot of hairstyles. I have done, you know, the traditional sew-ins. I have done lace fronts. I love the braids. I literally, uh, almost two years ago, chopped all of my hair off and dyed it blonde. So that was a big moment for me. But I have been considering bangs. Um, <laughs> as of recently, I don't know if bangs would look good on me. I had bangs when I was little. Uh, I hope nobody tries to find those pictures, but I think the bangs when I was little was cute, but now I don't know if I'd, I'd, I'd like it or look as good. But the, a person who can pull off a good bang and like rock it, I applaud you, I bow down to you. <laughs> I hate when hair is in my face. Um, so I'm gonna add uh, some bobby pins on the side to you know, still give it that sleek, a straight look but put it behind my ear cheated a little bit because when hair is in my face I can't think I can't breathe I just feel discombobulated and this actually uh, made me think about all of my favorite hairstyles I wear on a red carpet despite my love for box braids I do love a good updo I think it really all depends on the outfit though because let's just say I'm wearing a dress and it has a lot going on in the neck or it's just you know big and poofy you don't want your hair kind of blending into the dress if that makes sense so if I have uh, an extravagant dress with a lot going on especially in like the torso area or around the neck I will pull my hair up and probably a high ponytail I love a good high ponytail I actually did a, a high ponytail for the Suicide Squad premiere but not only was it a high ponytail it was a high ponytail that was like seven feet long no lie <laughs> um and that was one of my favorites so it really just depends on the outfit when i have short hair i think obviously that went with everything because you know it doesn't kind of distract or take away from the outfit and then even like curly like bonds and poofs i think really look good with certain outfits so you know you just have to experiment you have to figure out what looks best on you what looks best with the outfit but i am so thankful that i have a team that always gets it done and always is making sure that I, I feel beautiful and look good. Okay y'all, so you already know I love to keep it simple. Today I don't really have much going on, just some work and meetings. So I have done my hair and you know this cute slick moment. So what do y'all think about it? It didn't take much time. It's what I'm comfortable with and I think it looks cute. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. Again, I am Storm Reed. This is how I do my hair. How do you do yours?